Hello! Today we are going to do sunscreen hits and misses. Some of these are brand new to the market. Some of these are tinted, non-tinted. We have body sunscreens. I've got all of them. I even have some that I think make beautiful foundations if you'd rather just wear sunscreen and no foundation. So we've got the gamut here. Now the misses that I have, I'm going to share them at the end of the video, but I do want to do the hits first, because I think that that's a lot more fun. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician. If you are into skincare, if you're into wellness, if you are into product breakdowns, ingredient deep dives, I hope you'll subscribe to this channel before you go. Okay, let's go. Let's start with my old favorites and get those out of the way. The Dermatology sunscreens are a massive hit. All three for me are the Universal Tinted Moisturizer. This is like a holy grail moisturizer um, sunscreen for me. It's SPF 46. It is a hybrid, meaning that it uses zinc as its filter that blocks out the aging rays, but then it also uses a chemical filter. So it's a hybrid. It's not purely mineral or chemical. Now this one is tinted in what they call a universal tint. The reason for that is that pretty much everybody can wear it because it doesn't have a white cast. So so for me, it actually does have a little bit of a sheer tint to it, and I can definitely wear this all year round. In the wintertime, I feel like it does give me a little bit of color, and in the summertime, it just blends right on in to my self-tan. It's very sheer, and I would say that this one is good for people who are normal or normal to dry. If you're really oily, you may not like this one. It is dewy, so I love that one. It has been a staple for like four years now, maybe even four and a half years, for a long time now. The Broad Spectrum SPF of 45, this one is great. This one is really lightweight. It is a great moisturizer. I find that it just kind of disappears into your skin, doesn't leave any kind of greasy residue or anything like that. It is fragrance free. It's just a really beautiful sunscreen from the brand as well. The other one that I would say is kind of neck and neck for me, close to the Universal Tinted Moisturizer is the Physical Tinted Moisturizer. So this one to me is the counterpart to the um, Universal Tinted Moisturizer. The reason for that is this is tinted, but it does not have any of the chemical filters. So it is purely a physical tint. Now, if you look at it, it looks like this. It is also universal as far as it does not have any kind of a white cast, so a lot of people can get away with this. I would say that if you are lighter than like a an NC15, if you're very pale, this would probably look a little bit orange on you. Same with the Universal Tinted Moisturizer. They are beautiful, but on really pale skin, I definitely think they're a little bit too dark. Next up, we're gonna talk about the Neova. This is the Silk Sheer 2.0. I've been talking about this one for years now because this brand makes DNA repair enzyme products. And what they've done is they've done a sunscreen that has DNA repair products in it. I will link in the description box my videos on DNA repair, but it's really one of those kind of cornerstones to well aging as far as our skin is concerned. It can help with hyperpigmentation, it can help with skin cancer prevention, and it's just a really, really nice addition into an SPF. So if you're not familiar with what DNA repair enzymes are, you definitely should look into them, and I think it is fantastic fantastic to see it in a sunscreen. This one is tinted, but it's really, really faintly tinted with almost like a yellowy peach color. And really all that does is it makes it not have a white cast. Now this one is broad spectrum SPF of 40, zinc and titanium dioxide with 3% octanoxate. So this is also a hybrid, and I find that one to be a little bit more matte. It's not matte, but it is not dewy like the Universal Tinted Moisturizer. It leaves behind a really beautiful skin-like finish with zero cast whatsoever, but I think that the real kind of shining star of the Neova Silk Share is that it has the DNA repair enzymes. So if you are someone who um, maybe you've had past skin cancers, then you might want to look into a sunscreen that has DNA repair enzymes in them. And this one is definitely leaps and bounds my favorite of any brand that I've tried. Their sunscreen, this is my favorite with DNA repair. Those are all of my like tried and true. You guys have heard me talk about them many, many times. Each and every one of those have been favorites for years now 
and nothing has knocked them off of their ledge. Like if I had to choose, I would reach for one of them every single time. Okay, moving along. Elastin. Elastin mineral tint is glorious. This is one of the best ever made tinted sunscreens. This one definitely could, um, it, it could be a foundation. This one is titanium dioxide and it's a zinc oxide and it is an SPF of 36. It actually has quite a bit of pigment in it. So you really do need to use a decent amount in order to get the SPF of 36. And because it's got a lot of pigment in it, for me, this is one of those sunscreens that I layer. I might use this one after I've put on my Dermatology Universal Tint and Moisturizer. This might be my foundation. And I am telling you, it makes for an absolutely gorgeous foundation. It looks like this. I would say it's like a medium kind of golden shade. And when I'm self-tanned, I can wear this no problem. It's probably an NC30. My, where I used to work, the clinic where I used to work, the doctor there, she carries elastin and that's how I was originally introduced to this. I have had this in back bar size because I love it so much. I've got, everybody in my family is hooked on this as their foundation. I mean, it is so beautiful. Now the way that I wear this, like I said, is I will wear it over another sunscreen so that I don't have to use so much that I look like because it's got a lot of, a lot of pigment to it. I will make sure to put in the description box next to each and every one of these, whether they're mineral or if they are a hybrid or if they are all chemical filters, etc. I'll put all the details right next to it so you don't have to remember all of this. So when you're looking through the links in the description box and in, the pin in a pinned comment that you'll have the information kind of succinctly in front of you. But just know that this Elastin product is absolutely a beautiful way to wear a sunscreen as a foundation. And this brand is definitely really well known and well revered in medical offices, etc., for being kind of cutting edge technology as far as a skincare brand is concerned. So this has been a favorite of mine for many years. A new one to me is by Alioup. Now this is another one that you could wear as a foundation. It is so pretty, you guys. I was really surprised. I bought this off of like an Instagram ad or something like that, and I had to buy two different colors because, you know, you can't really tell. It comes in 12 colors. It is something that you could wear, like I said, as a foundation. It comes in a squeezy tube with kind of like a pointy little applicator, which I really like because I just put some stripes on my face, and then I blend it around with my fingers, and then I take a beauty blender and I bounce it all over. I really, really like this because you can use a pretty decent amount and you look flawless but natural. Now this one is an SPF of 50 and it is a tinted mineral sunscreen with niacinamide. Now the other thing that I really really like about this one is I will put a big line across the middle of my neck, I rub it in with my hands and then I will use a beauty blender to blend it in and it literally just blurs out your neck. If you have any like poikiloderma or anything like that on your neck, any redness, it helps to neutralize all of that while at the same time, of course, giving you a bunch of sunscreen, sun protection, etc. Now, this one is one ounce, and I wanna say it's around $30. Again, I will put all of the information up on the screen, but also in the description box. So this one is a little bit more expensive. I think what I like about this is it is truly a sunscreen that you could wear as your sunscreen and as your foundation. Like, you can use a bunch of it and it still looks beautiful and natural and doesn't look cakey or like you're wearing a ton of makeup or anything like that, but it is only one ounce, so you'll probably go through it pretty fast. But if you are somebody who likes to wear sunscreen slash foundation, you like it to be a one and done, especially in the summer, this one from Alley Oop is an excellent option. And I think the shade range for being a sunscreen is not not too bad. It really does have some light. This is right in the middle. I have it in the color Glisten. I also brought it, bought it in the color Shine, a little bit too dark for me, but that is smack in the middle and there's uh, several um, shades lighter and several shades darker. So this has been a really, really great find and it was one of those that I bought off of Instagram and I was really excited when it showed up and I loved it. So that is Alley Oop. Now, another one that I talked about not too long ago is the Beauty of Joseon. I am almost out of this one, and I'm kind of like, 
I'm kind of using it sparingly, not like when I use it, but I mean, I don't use it very often because I'm going to run out of it. Every time I go to buy some more, it's not there. And so I've kind of been just really holding on to the last of this. The deal with this one is it is um, chemical filters. It is so lightweight and just gorgeous. I mean, it disappears into your skin. It leaves absolutely no cast. I think it looks like a beautiful primer on the skin under makeup. Now, I am normal to dry and I am a little bit dehydrated, my skin is, and so for me, the way that I have to use this is I have to use a pretty decently hydrating and moisturizing moisturizer when I use this. Like I could never use this as my sunscreen slash moisturizer, which sometimes like with my Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer, I can get away with using it as my moisturizer. If I put it on like right over my needle of serum, for example, I can layer it on and it looks great and it's hydrating enough. This one as a dry skin person definitely requires a moisturizer that's got quite a bit of moisture for this to work but it does when I do that combination I absolutely love it so the way that I usually use this is I will use my soothing recovery cream from dermatology as my moisturizer which is pretty that packs a punch of moisture in fact I usually use that as my last step at night to kind of lock in everything that I've done and make sure I'm trapping all the water in my skin and all of that stuff when I use this sunscreen I use that as my moisturizer and it's a beautiful beautiful pair so if you are somebody who's normal and combo or normal to oily so good so pay attention to when this comes back in stock and it is just a beautiful it's also really really great for men my husband loves this anytime i hand him this tube he recognizes it and he's like oh yeah that's a good one whenever you know we're going out we're going to be out in the sun and stuff and he asks for a sunscreen this is the one that i know he will love and use and not feel like it's like heavy moisturizer doesn't want tinted you know all of that stuff so that is the beauty of joe sun that is another big hit okay we're going to talk about kopari they came out with their rose gold sun shield body glow spf of 45 now I have this last year in the original color. This one is the rose gold. I had to buy it as soon as they came out with it. This is gorgeousness. Now I will tell you that I typically use a sunscreen on my body first and then this is almost like a, a sunscreen topper. I might put this on shoulders, arms, maybe the front of my thighs, maybe across my collarbone. I don't really rely on this to be all of my sun protection. It is so beautiful that I just love the fact that I get some kind of a shimmering body product that has a bunch of SPF in it. Now the rose gold color you guys is just beautiful. It comes out and it's very very sheer it just leaves this really sheer luminosity and like I said it's just stinking beautiful let's see if we can do this without in the sunshine it just glistens and leaves your skin looking so moisturized hydrated it looks glistening it's just beautiful and like I said it is an SPF of 45 it is chemical filters and it spreads beautifully it does have a coconut smell to it. So if you don't like that, it's almost like a coconut suntan smell. If you don't like this, you would not like that from Kopari. A lot of their products are kind of coconut scented. But I know that last year with the original color, I used it all summer long. And again, I used it as a sunscreen topper. So it was the way to get that kind of glistening look without you know sacrificing more sun protection because I love to layer on sun protection in the summertime. It also reapplies really beautifully and it's huge. It is five fluid ounces. It's tough to go through this in a summer because you just don't need a ton. And if you use it as a sunscreen topper, then you don't need to use a ton of it to get that look and just a little added sunscreen protection. So that is the Kopari Rose Gold Sun Shield Body Glow SPF of 45. Let's talk about the misses. Um, first of all, these I, I know I'm going to get some people that are going to be like, that's my favorite. So Everything is obviously personal preference. So if one of my misses is something that you love, that's okay because we're all gonna like different things. And feel free to leave in the comment section a review. If one of these is your favorite, leave a review, let everyone know that you love it so that people get kind of a balanced approach. Conversely, 
go ahead and leave if some of my hits don't work for you. Why? Maybe if you could make it constructive, that would be fantastic so that people get a little bit more of a complex review from all of us. That would be wonderful because of course, everything is super personal. Okay, we're going to start off with a big one and that is the Sun Better Advanced Mineral Protection SPF 75 from Skin Better Sciences. This one is so popular and I see so many people talking about people that I totally respect, people that I think are just amazing. This just does not work for me. First of all, it's super expensive. Um, let's see. Okay, this one is 1.7 ounces and it's $75. So I bought this. I bought this and another one of their products. In fact, I'm gonna buy a couple more Skin Better Sciences products because I've been asked so many times to review their stuff. So it's a brand that is definitely on my radar and on my list. This is, first of all, I feel like it's a little bit unremarkable. I'm sorry to say that, but I do. Second of all, it is really thick and I feel like it kind of sits on top of the skin and it's, I don't know, I just, I just don't love it. Like I'm still rubbing it in and it's still shiny and I feel like it stays, like it just makes this sort of film on the top of my skin and I don't know, I just don't love it. I love the fact that it's an SPF of 75. 1.7 ounces is great. The tint is good for not being, you know, no, having no white cast. I think the packaging is really, really chic. I love that it has a pump. It's an airtight package, so you're likely to get all the product out of it. But like right now, it is still shiny, almost greasy on my hand. And we've been, you know, I've been talking for a little while. And I feel like it just sort of stays like that. And if I want to wear it under makeup, I just sort of feel greasy and like heavy all day long. So this one was definitely a miss for me. I know some of you really, really love this one. Like I said, the SPF 75 is awesome. That's really great. But my goodness, the amount that you need to use in order to get that SPF 75, I cannot even imagine how that would feel on the skin because that one pump on the back of my hand is still shiny and still feels heavy on the back of my hand, almost greasy, like it's a trip, and my hands are really dry, honestly. Okay, next is another one that I know people are gonna say that they love, that just did not work out for me, and it is the Iris and Romeo, this is the weekend skin, and honestly, it's a lot like the Sun Better from this one, it's a lot like the Skin Better Science Sun Better. This is so thick, and greasy almost. And if you used enough to actually get the SPF on the package, which is SPF of 50, and it does have vitamin C, and it's a broad spectrum, so it's zinc, and I'll put the ingredients, of course, up on the screen. But you guys, this is so heavy and kind of greased, I don't know. I just didn't love it and I know so many people love this one so much. But again, that's one little tiny pump and it feels heavy, it's greasy, and it, it feels like it sits just kind of on the top of the skin. I don't know, I didn't, didn't love it. It feels like it's going to sink into every fine line, every crevice, all of that stuff. And you would need several pumps in order to get the protection that it advertises. So it would be a really thick amount of sunscreen on the face. I have used it a couple of times and it does dry down eventually. So eventually it's not this shiny and I don't know if you can tell, but it's still shiny. Still, I mean, honestly, the skin better is still shiny on this hand. And I've been, I mean, it's like greasy looking and heavy. That's the same with the weekend skin. It just, it's just kind of heady to me. And so this was a miss for me as well. Another one that is a miss that is new and it's really unfortunate is by Kosas. This is the Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF of 40. This is a new launch from Kosas and Kosas is one of those brands that I pretty much adore. I love their products. I like their skincare. I like their makeup. I, I, I just really, really like the brand. This has so much shimmer in it. 
it's almost to me like Tin Man. Like you put it on and you're like, whoa, that's a lot of shimmer. Like I'm not sure who wants that much shimmer. Now, maybe if you put it on and then you put your matte makeup over it, you might be able to get this kind of balance or something like that. But uh, it is way, way, I mean, it is, and they say it, they say dream beam, but hopefully you'll be able to see. It is seriously, shockingly shimmery and luminescent like it the luminosity in here is over the top and the first thing that came to my mind when I tried it on my face was Tin Man like I thought oh my gosh I look so shimmery I can't even imagine if I like went outside in the sun and frankly in this lighting and stuff in here you're not going to be able to see the shimmer as much as if I were in the sun or something like, or you were looking in person but to me it's just over the top kind of luminosity in that one so it was definitely a fail as well this one I mean maybe I will use it on my chest on my collarbone area on the tops of my shoulders as almost like a sunscreen highlighter but clearly that's not what it's meant to be it's meant to be a facial SPF and there's I just think on your whole entire face and your neck too much shimmer completely too much shimmer okay those are all the misses that I have so again I'm going to put down in the description box timestamps I'm also going to put every single product link the products anytime I find a sale I will always include codes and whatnot so that if anything interests you you can get it at a discount I will always do that in the description box anytime I talk about anything check the description box if a brand goes on sale and I find out if I get a code for us I will always update my description boxes to reflect that. So check there for sure. You can also go to my website, twofensmithskincare.com. I have a current codes and all of that kind of um, blog post that I always update for any discounts that I have worked out with any brands so that again you don't have to pay full price because there really is no need for that if I fall in love with something I always reach out to a brand and try and get a discount code etc for us so that I can use it as well I hope that this video was helpful I definitely want you to find a sunscreen that you love and use it every day I have my tried and trues my dermatology universal tinted moisturizer the Neova silk sheer the Evi, the beauty of Joson the elastin that are my just I can pull a sunscreen every single day and know that I'm gonna love my skin in that sunscreen so I never ever have a feeling of wanting to skip sunscreen so that my skin will look better for the day I never have to do that because I found sunscreen screens that I love that's all you have to do whether it is affordable it's expensive whatever it is this is the most important component of a good skincare routine is to protect your skin from UV damage it's important for skin cancer it's important for well aging and it is just one of those things that there's no reason not to there's so many great sunscreens on the market I would love to hear what your very favorite sunscreen is in the comment section I get so many great recommendations from you that I screenshot your comment then I go off and I try things out some things work for me some things don't but a lot of times I am able to find a massive score because of something that you recommended to me so I always appreciate that in the comment section I hope you are having a really really wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next skincare video take care